They all have to have rights. Now the dogs have more rights than I do. So let's just move on. So I'm gonna be the hag that says good night. Goodbye. Cheers. Been to a dog wedding before. I thought it was going to be a really touching moment, but it was um, uh, it was weird and wrong, I think. This is the stupidest thing I've ever been a part of. It's a dog wedding. I got called on my day off. I was going to go to the beach. No, play beach volleyball, but I'm here at a dog wedding. Do the dogs even appreciate it? Excuse me. That How'd it was go? beautiful. It went wonderfully. Yeah, everything went perfectly. It was perfect. The guests looked happy. Fabulous. The bride and groom were definitely happy. So and were now you happy, married. Justin? I'm 100% happy. Everything went really, really smooth. There was no real big hiccups. Um, a couple of things with my staff uh, happened, but uh, they were. Um, reprimanded and, and fixed right away. So uh, there was a little bit of a mix up with the flowers where they were supposed to go um, and Ken freaked out a bit, but the solution was really simple. So, um, but yeah, everything went really, really well. Justin, the wedding planner is just a great guy. You know, he sweats a lot. You know, I'm sorry, but he gets nervous and I'm not sure if it's just me, but there's lots going on there. Uh, but as far as a job, I gotta tell you, Justin is a real go-getter. You never know what you're gonna get with Justin. Some days are good, some days are not so good. I'm sort of with Ken when I, I say I don't really know what's going on with that guy. But, uh, you know, hopefully today was a good day for, for Justin. It was, a, it was a victory. I don't condone weddings. I don't advocate weddings. I think marriage is bogus. I think it's horrible, actually, for any sexual relationship, but... I get paid out of it, great. So I think Ken is very happy with the outcome today, and whatever Ken is happy with, I'm happy with. I would say that this was kind of, I don't know, in a way it was magical. You know, it was, it, it was total fantasy, and I love fantasy. So this was a perfect day for me to be here. Well, it's over. Yeah, finally. Oh, I gotta tell you. That's like planning a real wedding. So many months and so many hours of hard labor and hard work and God. Yeah, we're never getting married. No. No, no, no. Never. never, never. That's never. not happening, not after this experience. The next wedding is gonna be the big gay chihuahua. <laughs> That's what I think. So stay tuned because Casper is going after Napoleon. <laughs> There's the limo, let's okay, go yeah. kids. I'll be there, I'll meet you there. Ursula's already over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're tired. Well, even though there were some politics involved in the big Chihuahua wedding, and we weren't sure whether we were gonna pull it off, it all seemed to come together. And I'm glad, the kids are glad, and I think everyone else had a great time, and I'm very pleased. Aren't you guys? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, kids. It's the Prime Minister suite. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go in. Come on. Let's go. There we go. In the hotel. Let's go. We're back. Hey, oh my We're God. Back. Just oh. give me a second. I'm just preparing oh. the boudoir. Oh, you can never. The what? Boudoir. Oh, boudoir. Okay. Is that, am I saying it right? You are. Okay. Look you know that. what? They're so tired. Wasn't the... Oh. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know what? It turned out better than I thought. I know. Mm, look at that. Okay. Now we Napoleon, did so good. he gets out of his tux. He has a rip away. It's okay. Velcro. There we go. This is... This is their honeymoon suite. They're officially They're married. They're officially married now. Look at them. <sighs> You know, look, look at Napoleon. He's just totally zonked. Oh, poor thing. Oh, what okay. a typical man. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put them to yeah. bed in the Prime Minister's bed. So. <laughs> well, they're going to rest peacefully. Well, thank you. Yeah. And you rest peacefully, too. Night, thank you. Night. Good night. Mwah. Take care. Mwah. Thanks a lot.
Good night. Good night, my little ones. My sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. I would say that for the most part, it was uh, it was pleasant. I did uh, I did not enjoy the um, the hors d'oeuvres as much as as one would have hoped. I guess it wasn't all bad. I actually started serving people dog biscuits. I got this one guy in a stupid wine shirt pretty good. I would definitely do another dog wedding. It was just it was a really fun time and and everybody just enjoyed themselves immensely. And it was less stress than a and, than a human wedding, so. <laughs> uh, I guess the only part that's a bit of a disappointment is for Casper because he's a little needy, so he's been neglected. And with it, it's been all just about Napoleon and Joseph. Napoleon and Joseph. Sure, he's always the groomsman, but he's never the groom. So you know what we think about this wedding now? Sure, it's all done and over, but this is what we think about this wedding. Good luck, you'll be divorced in two years. It's in honeymoon night, guys. You only get one. Well, it's all over. I love you guys. That's right, go to sleep. Let's all go to sleep.